The situation here is unbearable, and I will not lie to you. Honestly, we are seeking if government will intervene or talk to us, let us know what plans they have for us because lives here are not safe at so all. I will not lie to you. Yesterday morning around 5 a.m., we were asked to evacuate the building immediately. We were all confused as to what is happening. But then we came out and then we were told to be on high alert because uh, the, the country has been on attack. We need food, we need water. Well, I, I've just seen some cans of water here. Okay, ha. Hey, one Ghana TV. I'm saying for you, you're not in the air Ukraine. Russia for you at all. I show you so. I know. I'm a Ghana. I'm a brand. I'm a friend. I'm a Saint Joseph. I will go to school. Oh, I'll go invest in Ukraine. Oh, I buy a Komo. What's up? I'm a Ghana. I say Ukraine for no time. I'm for no more. I'm for no more. No more. Oh. In to mu nimdi e koso nti o mu mu free baby baby na eba ho school ni de te se Ghana for Nigeria for no de o ma ye stranded o mu hu de o mu nye e na de e koso no so de are no save in to mu sere aban se o mra mu na che se o meji o mabusu yen ko yen ko tie abrante yan se ni komo no emra how far is yeah. that from where the 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 violence is happening the armed conflict is happening uh, it's about a 3 hours drive from uh, Ukraine okay uh, from or from uh, Russia sorry Okay, what do you see? Um, what do you hear? What's the mood like where you are? Um, for the past weeks now, we've been uh, seeking from information from our uh, administrators, but then we don't hear anything. Just this morning, we heard loud bangs on our doors to um, get to the downstairs, and then we came. We we're all kind of standing. We didn't know what was going on, and then uh, we've been asked to. Uh, go back into our rooms. But then the interesting aspect is that you see the Ukrainians, uh, I mean the indigents, who are in the university, leaving, they've all packed their bags. But then uh, we, as foreign students, we are left stranded here. We don't know what to do. And then I have a few colleagues here who I'd like to uh, interview. Okay, yes, go. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what's your name and where are you? Uh, from my name is Talon. I'm from Ghana, Sunyan to be precise. Currently, the situation here is unbearable, and I will not lie to you because the indigenous people here are moving to their various homes, and we, the foreigners here now, we are left stranded. Even it was yesterday, I personally moved to my school to inform them about they were not informing us about what is happening in Ukraine, but they were trying to calm the situation down by telling us nothing will happen. But Later this morning, we heard there are bombs blasting in other cities, which is like three hours from Sumi to Harkov and five hours to Kiev. Which of it, even if you are a take flights, you are supposed to move to Kiev. And that's their capital, which things are not well there. Honestly, we are seeking if governments will intervene or talk to us, let us know what plans they have for us because. Lives here are not safe at so I'm not like to you because if if you are to compromise with anything, it's not life. You can't compromise with life so that you think like there's a safe way of which I can't lie to Ghanaians, I can't lie, lie to people that they are back home that here is safe, here is not safe. So even if you can tell anybody coming to Ukraine now, you should pause, you should hold on to maybe further notice because life here is not safe. Yeah. Okay, I'd also like to speak to uh, my sister here. She's already packed her things, waiting to move. And then uh, I'd like to hear from her. Uh, what's your name and where are you from? Okay, so my name is Daisy. I'm Nigerian. So clearly, um, everything looked... At first, it was like... The, there was information, basically, from the school that anything was going to happen. But right now, as it is, it's very obvious. Like, everybody's moving, people are packing their things. It's quite obvious that everything is as serious as it is. Because last night, they told us that we should prepare that they're going to switch off the lights by 3 p.m. today, our time. And I was like, okay. But by this morning, we just had to start running because we're hearing loud bangs that we should move, should in case of anything. And they even told us to stock up on dry food. Which we had to go and buy yesterday. So, but it is well. At the end of the day, we just need help. 
to help and move. Joseph, can you hear me? Sorry. Okay, so yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Are you in touch with the Ghana Embassy or the Ghanaian authorities? Uh, not, no, we have uh, various WhatsApp platforms where we are expecting uh, information from uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but up till now, we haven't heard anything from them. Uh, it's getting scarier by the day, and then we are just hoping for to hear from the authorities. How many Ghanaians, to do next. How many Ghanaians are in your school? Do you know? Uh, in my school, I have well over about um, 10 students from here, and then we have another medical uh, school in the same SUMI, which has more than over um, over 70 Ghanaian medical students over there. Are you in touch yeah. with your family back here in Ghana? Yes, I have spoken to uh, my mom, and she's she's panicking, but I have told her to calm down. <coughs> what do you want to happen? Sorry, can you, can you, can you see that again? What, what do you want to happen to you, the Ghanaian students who are currently in Ukraine? Just, well, we just wish, uh, uh, yesterday, the Nigerian students in my hostel have started receiving communiques from their uh, foreign uh, affairs ministries as to what to do next where to go next if there's any uh, problem but for Ghanians, we haven't heard anything or oh, well i haven't seen anything coming from uh, our foreign affairs ministries on what to do next uh, my colleague whom you spoke to uh, previously has already booked his ticket and he's supposed to leave ukraine in uh, on sunday but then uh, what we are hearing is that uh, the airport has been blocked right now so he will he's, he's less stranded here he has his ticket ready to move on sunday but then he can't move. We, we actually do not know what uh, uh, can happen now. If uh, governments can hire a, a, a jet for us to come uh, uh, home, I don't know. As we've seen government do such things. So they could hire a jet, a private jet to come and evacuate Ghanaians because we don't feel safe here right now. Do, have, other, have other citizens been evacuated by their governments? Um, not not that I know of. But then you, could, you can see other citizens amassing. I mean, you see them gathering and they are, they, are, they, are, they are getting information from uh, their leaders as to what to do. They won't share with you, but then you see the Chinese uh, community, you see the Indian community, the Turkish community. Uh, for, uh, in my hostel, the Turkish community, I think they've already uh, rented a bus, and then they've left the, uh, the hostel. So now who is left in this hostel, apart from you and, and the Nigerians? Who else is, 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 is there? Uh, for now, we still have... Uh, there are some other uh, African students here from Comoros, Cameroon, yeah, and the Ukrainians have all deserted the, uh, the, the hostel. They've all left with their bags. Are there and even for myself. Okay, are there for myself, they've are... asked us just to park. Okay, they've so... asked us to park just, okay. uh, our bags and our documents. So I just have my passport and a few of my documents. That's all I've been able to, to pick so far. How is Ghana represented? That's what they asked us to have with us. That, that's any point in time. Thank you. How is Ghana represented in Ukraine? Do you have an embassy? Do you have a consul, consul, consulate? How is our representation like? We don't have, no, we, don't have, we, we do not have uh, an embassy in, 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 uh, in Ukraine. We operate with the uh, consulate in Russia. Okay, so, so, so who, who, who covers our, our, our matters in, in Ukraine? Who do, you, who do you speak to when you want uh, representation? Um, nukes, uh, nukes, nukes, Ukraine. There's uh, nukes, Ukraine. Uh, yeah, National Union of Ghana students. Yeah, yeah. And what is the latest? Yes, what's the latest communication they're giving you, Joseph? I haven't seen anything on our WhatsApp platform yet. But oh. we were asked to fill forms previously. Okay. Um, yeah, and we've not heard from them since. We were asked to fill some forms previously. Okay. But we've not heard from them since. What's the latest communication the school authorities have given you? They've given us some emergency contacts just in case uh, we want to uh, contact for any information. But, well, and the funny thing is, it's, it's in uh, Ukrainian language. So it's, the language barrier is quite difficult here. They've given us emergency contacts. It's quite difficult to uh, contact them on that. You don't speak the language? Not too well. Not too well. Not too well. It's, Not too well. It's, okay. Yeah. Uh, finally, yeah. what do you want to happen today? Today, we are just hoping uh, Putin will draw back his troops and then peace can prevail. That's our prayer. And what's your message to the Ghanaian authorities listening and watching right now? We are, we are, pay, we are appealing to them that they should just they should co contact us. I mean, they should find ways and means and come and carry out of this country.
Okay, is there can be in this? Okay, is that so? So, so they should be contacting you through NOOX, is that correct? NOOX, there is, there is, there yes, please. They should give us press releases, they should write, uh, write us uh, on, uh, they should give us information as to where we can contact them so that they can take our information and then we meet up somewhere and then leave this country if, okay. if that's possible. Okay, Dr. Lawrence, Seton wants to say something uh, to you. Let me briefly say this to you. I studied in the Eastern Europe myself, I studied in Hungary, so going to Ukraine is normal. You have a representation in Ukraine. It's called Dr. Albert Kiche, who is a forensic scientist. He is the one who is acting as a Ghana Consul General, isn't it? He's somebody who's been in Ukraine since 1985-86. He was my, my, uh, my, my mate whilst I was in uh, Hungary. So he's somebody that you can rely on. He lives in Ukraine, a very popular man. I believe you know Dr. Albert Kiche. So contact him and he's the best person to deal with you. He's in touch with the Ghanaian government here and he knows exactly what to do. Dr. Now, Albert Kitcher got out of the So we will we'll WhatsApp you his, so we'll 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 his number uh, yeah, after this conversation is done. So uh, Dr. Albert Kitcher, get in touch with him, yeah. Joseph and your friends, so that you can get some help and find out exactly and, what the Ghana government is and, doing. And that is also one thing I will say to you. I know this is on the sideline of it, but one of the wisest things you should be doing is to learn the language. Language. I speak Hungarian language so I can communicate. Most of you go these days, become very lazy and you don't pick up the language. Otherwise, this some of these things you'll be able to get from the indigenous what it's all about. Okay, we see for a brand here, young sen na ye could see nuna na or church and semuno. San so any doctor Philip Bobie a casa any busan say a bra basa no mut me nya ne me be and and mia ne an answer be be a guwa a wumbe to me din or so a ba don into no etiam kurano when woman to me and found kwanko yiska because a bre ba ye no a ba ma chiana chas wom manda nan so sabre de ye or mom one in chene de dear same ti yanko yinko tia no so emra cross over now live to Ukraine and speak to President of Anouk's Ukraine chapter, Dr. Philip Bobier and Saint. Thank you, Dr. Phil. Uh, I imagine you and the rest of the students you are in touch with are safe as we speak? Absolutely. We are all safe as it stands now. Okay, great. Now, let us know the situation in terms of other countries and what they are doing with the students who, of course, you are in classes with, etc., amid the crisis and the tension. All right. So, I think uh, India embassy has been uh, great so far. Uh, they they announced they've been on marches they've been on top of marches honestly uh, they addressed the situation as and when it came as and when it escalated so they even uh, organized flights uh, commercial flights really to send Indians uh, home because we have a lot of Indians here in Ukraine uh, so there that high demand for such uh, such approach so the government did that for them and then they were being evacuated but they were paying for it of course. But the, the schedule for that flight was uh, to be today uh, on the 26th and then I think on the 28th. But because uh, of the situation now, uh, I think yesterday we were, I was in touch. This done actually. I was in touch with a few of them. They were not allowed to leave as uh, Russia started the invasion this dawn. So the flights were cancelled. Uh, not all that. So uh, these, some of these students are trying to relocate uh, to the safer uh, regions or, 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 and, and parts of Ukraine. So that is the situation now. Mm. Mm. And you are calling for intervention by governments, for example, if they could evacuate you and the rest of your members, over 1,000 of you. Has there been any response to the appeal since you made it beginning last night? Absolutely. Absolutely. We've had a response just as we had from uh, the honorary consul designates I uh, uh, mentioned, uh, embassies were reaching out to help us. And as, as of now, we are even in contact uh, with Switzerland, and then we are giving, uh, preparing a, a, a communique for them, like an update on matters so far, uh, give uh, the thoughts so far as well, uh, and then also uh, give them possible scenarios of evacuation. Uh, just as he said, uh, airspace is closed now, so we have to now start looking at other options. So that is what we are trying to establish. We are also even also uh, giving them uh, the updates uh, with, the, with, with in case the airspace becomes open. Okay. So we are also providing such updates to them so that immediately it becomes available. Uh, our students will be evacuated. Mm, just before I let you go, before I got on air, there was news that a lot of individuals have thrown banks to withdraw their monies as the tensions escalate. For example, are you and your students able to have enough supplies? So that while you are keeping safe in shelters or wherever you are, you can feed yourself and sustain yourselves? Uh, from the reports I've had so far from my correspondent across the cities, uh, I think most of our members uh, haven't been able to do that because we're all caught by surprise 
they started at dawn. Some were sleeping. They had to be uh, woken up by their friends and families who had the news first. So by the time we had uh, these things to, you know, take these actions, we were late to that. Uh, by that time, some ATMs were not working. That is the report I've heard so far. As I communicated with some of my colleagues, they told me they couldn't withdraw funds. Some of the ATMs are not working. Uh, others also, there are huge uh, queues. Uh, they couldn't just wait. The Ukrainians, of course, were also trying to uh, withdraw uh, money, so they couldn't uh, do it. But with the groceries and water, we encourage them to at least try to get these things uh, so that they can I mean, keep keep up uh, and, and see what developments we'll have in the next few days. Okay, I'm saying for Dr. Philip Bobier Enna. You call it here, you know. A brand here, you are Joseph. So, so for the past 24 hours, no, no, so so I'm here. Who do you call so? Was it any easy cry? Any seconds be an a bomb? Any mo? Na gunshot? Any mo? I just say, eh, who ye pa? The air cost they say no, the eh, who? Now Russia for any power, my target to pa. Any military for no, almost so so say say no. Omo ye hundred meters away, omo ni military for nti eh, who ye pa? I'm saying for. Yang kwe, ni yang kote ano so so emra. Um, well, we are grateful for life as of now. It's not been um, a, a good ordeal for the past uh, 12 hours, if I may say, from last night. We've had a very bad experience. There has been several uh, bombardments in my city. Um, yesterday, when I was giving the update, it, it wasn't so. But then for, for the past 24 hours, a lot of things has changed. The, uh, there's a military base just right... Um, across my university so there has been a lot of uh, that's what you are doing right now there has been a lot of bombardment just right in front of my university and then uh, throughout the night we have been locked out in the university uh, bunkers uh, that's the bomb shelters even though let me show you a glimpse of the uh, place it's not so comfortable here but then we are not seeking comfortability at the moment we are just seeking to um i mean survive we are not seeking anything comfortable. We just want to survive for the meantime. This is where we all spent the night yesterday. And it's been very, very cold in here. But then uh, we, we, are, we are so grateful that we've been able to escape one night. It's getting terrifying uh, by the minutes every day, every day. Um, I mean, a, 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 every second. You hear, you hear gunshots every second. The gunshots keep uh, uh, sounding very loud. And then we, we get scared. We don't know where to seek shelter again apart from here. Here it doesn't look so comfortable, but then, well, we have to uh, take it that way. Yeah, so... Um, Joseph, how I, many, how many of you are staying in this bunker? Um, we are well over a thousand, thousand students. But for now, before the call came, we've been given about two hours to go into the hostels to, um, I mean, find something and eat, and then we might be called back immediately to come and reside here because uh, bo the bombs keep uh, coming at any time. Gunshots are being fired uh, sporadically. So we just have some few uh, hours to find some food to eat and then we have to be back here immediately. Take us through, take us through the, what this journey has been like for you again. So at dawn yesterday, um, the world woke up to the information that Russia indeed invaded Ukraine. And when we spoke to you yesterday morning, you were fairly okay. You could hear sounds in the background suggesting that perhaps something was coming closer to you, but it hadn't. And then a few hours later, you let us know that this happened. Walk us through that journey once more. The city, your university, um, give us a sense of what, where you are, your location, and, and how it escalated. Okay, so um, I'm a student of uh, Sumi National Agrarian University. I'm here to study my master's. I've not been in Ukraine for so long. But then, um, yesterday morning around 5 a.m., we were asked to evacuate the building immediately. We were all confused as to what is happening. But then we came out and then we were told to be on high alert because um, the, the country has been on attack. But then it's still far away from the city. So we should go and get some groceries, I mean, some dry food uh, for ourselves. Uh, uh, we, we hope that, that nothing happens. But then, midday, we, we, we start he uh, hearing loud bangs. And then we, we see smoke start, I mean, smoke showing all over. Uh, uh, we, 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 got, we all got confused and then we asked, uh, we were introduced to this bunker. Most of us didn't know there's 
a, a bomb shelter here. So we're introduced to this bunker, and then um, since then, we come here periodically. Anytime we hear a loud noise, the alarm is uh, blown, and then we have to uh, run and settle into this place. But then for last night, it has been very, very worse. Myself, I've not had any sleep the whole night. I didn't have any sleep. I just, we were just allowed about one hour ago to go and find food and eat and then hope that uh, we will not be called back here. But I'm quite sure we'll be called because when I was even eating, I could hear a lot of gunshots in the background. There are a lot of uh, military basements. You know, the Russians are targeting these military basements. And then there's just a military basement just 100 meters away from my school. It's just 100 meters, like one minute or even two minutes work. That's where the military basement is sighted. So this, this fighting is happening right in front of uh, uh, myself and my colleagues in, uh, in, in Sumi National Agrarian University. Joseph, do you, do you, is there enough food? I, I know that there was some communication to you, but I also know that there's been challenges with communication. How are you able to contact relevant authorities to let them know how you're, you're doing and um, if they need to send any relief items to you? How are you um, thinking of doing that or how is that being coordinated? Uh, when it comes to food, yesterday it was, like I said, there was a, a panic buying of foodstuffs and groceries. Before I could get to the supermarket, almost everything was off the shelf. The shelf was empty. And then the only things that were left were items that on a normal day we wouldn't settle for. But then because of this situation, we have to settle for such items and then just uh, use them as they are. But on a normal day, these are not things that we want to buy. All the shops have been empty. And then on receiving funds from home, uh, somebody I, I, I always pass through to receive funds from my family. I can't, I, I've, I've not been able to contact him throughout yesterday. My family wants to send me something, but then they are unable to do it because uh, this person who is supposed to receive the money on my behalf is it, unavailable at the moment. So we are kind of left stranded. Even though I have money on, the, on my visa card, I'm unable to withdraw because the Ukrainians have withdrawn all the money in the ATM systems. When you go to an ATM machine, there's no, there's no money in it. But in this situation, we have to move with cash. We don't need our visa cards for anything. I have my visa card where there's money on it, but then I, I can't use it because uh, the, the, I mean, the ATM machines are not working. So it, it's quite difficult here. And then I would like to um, speak to a few Ukrainians here I met yesterday while I, I realized that they were just the few ones who didn't go home. So I'd okay. like to, to find out and why. If, and if you can give so, us an idea of your living conditions, I want to see the layout of the banker very well. What's the size of this banker? And I wonder how many of you are staying there as we speak. So um, let's speak to some of your friends uh, who are also seeking shelter with you, and, and, and we'll have a feel of what, what you're, you're facing or experiencing. Um, Privet. Um what I'm gathering from them is that um, they've not been able to um, go home because they delayed quite a little. So buses are not working. The transportation system has been shut down. They can no longer move. They have to uh, rely on the, uh, the school bunker for safety. They've been, they've been in touch with their families, though, but then they have to rely on the school uh, bunker for safety. They will be here for God, God knows when. They are, I, I, while I was here with them, their families kept calling them to check on their, uh, I mean, their safety. And Joseph, I'm asking again, how are you keeping in touch with Ghanaian authorities who may want to send you help? Uh, yes, from yesterday, we've seen a lot of press releases about how, what we should do. And then it's all that they are telling us to take care of ourselves. They are not telling us to evacuate to one point. I mean, I know the government's hands are tied right now. And they, they, they cannot come in and then evacuate us because the situation down here is even horrifying. Even if they come right now, it will be quite difficult for me to leave my uh, uh, hostel as at now to try to meet them anyway because 
there are gunshots flying all over i mean my, my city so it's quite unsafe right now if i want to uh, are these beds i'm seeing the joseph I, i'm not seeing these pictures very clearly because the the light the lighting um, system is, is is not as as pleasant as it, it could have been in better times i presume but are the, these yeah, are where I, you I, sleep? as i said the, the, these bunkers do not have any uh, way for sunlight they are okay. not comfortable at all, but we are not seeking comfortability at the moment. We just want to survive. And I'm seeing the, the this, pipes this on are, the walls and yeah, beds and a yeah. few chairs. The, these are these are the gas pipes. They are all under here. The, the uh, gas pipes of the of the whole uh, the hostel. They are all. That, that's what you can see in the background. You're saying these that you're living in a bunker that has gas pipelines going around the walls, and that's where. You, you are even feeling safest at this time. <laughs> if, if I'm not mistaken, but these are, yeah, I think uh, if they are not gas pipe, pipelines, but they are, I, I think, pipelines that supply mm. energy to the, uh, to the whole hostel. Yeah, but th th this is where we are living, and this is how uh, they designed design their underground bunkers, I mean, bomb shelters. We've been told that even if the building is hit, this is the safest place to be in because it, it won't cave in. That's the assurance we've been given. But who's you giving you assurances that you'll be fed and given water at least so that you can bunker down and wait for the Calvary to arrive? <laughs> right now, yesterday we were told to go and find food. I mean, dry food for ourselves. Nobody is telling us that they are going to provide food for us. As you can see, there's another person lying here. He's been here since yesterday. I think he's, he's a, a, a Chinese guy. He's been here since yesterday. No, they've asked us to go and fend for ourselves, buy food, come and store. So I don't know. We, we hope this ends soon. But if it doesn't end, we are going to be here and then we might run out of food. And then shops are not working. All the shops are currently not, not, not working. Well, I've been so, monitoring some, some reports on the international portals and I can update you that the world leaders are not happy with what is happening. Sanctions are being brought against Russia and there are plans to send in emergency help as soon as possible. But until that arrives, what would you say would be your most urgent need, Joseph? Well, I think for now it's the humanitarian services. We need food, we need water. Well, I, I've just seen some cans of water here. I don't know if it's clear for you to see, but there are some cans of water here. I think it's for emergency use. Uh, but for now, what we need most is the humanitarian uh, uh, services. Yeah, from UN. They, they should come in to help evacuate people. I mean, foreigners who are uh, stranded here. Most of the Ukrainians have, uh, I mean, they have where to go. According to them, uh, they, they go to the village. They feel safest in the village because the Russians are not attacking their villages. But we as foreigners, we would wish that um, the I mean, uh, United Nations or whoever is responsible uh, intervenes and then e evacuates us from the, uh, I mean, um, I mean, from this country. Just, um, again, from what I saw on the international news platforms yesterday, Ukrainians are indeed escaping what they, they, they expect to be a long war. And most of them, we are told, are heading west. Um, is that something that you could communicate to um, those who are sending you information that if there is a plan, perhaps follow where the Ukrainians are going for safety and also keep safe with them? Yeah, even my family have asked me to try and then uh, move west, but I've made it clear to them that it is not the right moment to, to leave, even if I want to. It, it's quite dangerous right now if you, you leave. People are uh, moving west, and then they, um, they are trying to move into Poland. I've been advised by my colleagues that it's safe uh, at Poland. Even if we go get to the Poland border, uh, we'll be safe there. It's not something I can, I, I can do right now. Right. Um, Joe, you've mentioned that there are some Ukrainians there with you. There are other Ghanaian <laughs> students. You've even mentioned a Chinese colleague. So it's a mix of nationalities for you who are bunkering down at this location, right? Yes. <laughs> you can call it an international <laughs> bunker. 
it's filled with international students all over like so many foreign citizens yeah i i don't even know what to think about your situation right now because even in that state you are trying to keep your spirits up and i can just imagine the external stress that you'll be feeling in this crisis it's men and women mixed together i do you even have toilet facilities not in the banker so where do you go you have to hold, when you have to you go have where to do you hold go yourself, you have to hold yourself until there's that break to, to go into your hostel for some few some hours then you are you're back joe what what do you want officials to know as as we, uh, we begin to wrap up, I'm sure we'll get back to you to check on you during the day. But for now, if you had to send a key message out to Ghanaian authorities, Ghanaian officials, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, what would you want them to know now? Um, I'll just appeal to them. They shouldn't play politics with our situation because it's a matter of um, life and death. Nobody should try to make uh, jokes about what's happening right now. It's a serious situation that none of them would wish to be in. I mean, no Ghanaian who, most people would, you, you should see a lot of people crying under the bunker, like with uh, hearing the bomb blast and all, not knowing when it's going to hit us. Like people are actually crying. Grown-ups are crying. Even myself, I had to be consoled by a lot of my friends. Yeah, especially someone yesterday. I had to be consoled by a lot of my friends. Um, it's it's not been easy. I hope they do not they do not play politics with it. I want them to be proactive about the whole situation. They should start uh, putting measures in place immediately. There's a chance to get their citizens evacuated. They should come for us. They shouldn't wait until I mean everybody has. I mean people know they can't evacuate right now, but then they are making steps. Immediately there's an opportunity. They come for their citizens. We do not want Ghanaians to wait and wait and wait until uh, I mean. It, 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 it will be long overdue, then we will never know what happens. We want them to come for us immediately they get the chance. Well, the information that you got, that we also got yesterday from the ministry, is that some discussions are ongoing to have a plan in place. And so hopefully, sooner rather than later, we'll get a clearer idea of what the plan is to, to, to ensure you and your colleagues' safety. As you okay, a disclaimer. Point. My 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 hostel is a very beautiful place. It looks in a very messy condition. My hostel is a very beautiful place. And I, I just want the world to know, I mean, and Ghanaians also to know that Ukrainians are a very, they are very peace-loving. They are very, very good people. They are welcoming. They are not racist. They've, I mean, ever since I've been here, we've been living in peace. They, this war is actually unprovoked. We do not know why Russians are doing this to them. And then they do not even understand what's going on. They, they are... I mean, it's unprovoked, so it's, it's just not right uh, what, what's happening right now. Joseph, you're strong. I have so much Thank respect you. for you, and we'll keep you in our thoughts and prayers, all of you, as you seek shelter, and we pray that help arrives. Indeed, we will ask questions and try and find some answers for you whenever we can. So keep us posted on developments, and then we'll, we'll, we'll figure out the rest as we go along. Thank you. Okay, Joseph. Thank you so very much. Okay, I'm busy. Hmm. I are a hustle pal. Enye easy. Now, no. Ena honorable Kennedy of Japan. So, so akasa achech sim di ako swingi na impata e de beba. Yangu e ni yangu ti ono so so emra. Che omaya ena pandemic abe wiasi baby e. Why in wawo asumbia? Ono di ako kaji jini kromu workers taxes. We wia no di abra u ni petuntu. Enye. A combat do arm woo. And I think a summer as a baby Russia for a co invade Ukraine. And Mammy explaining, Mamma, you see, say, say, no, and Tokwano Air Cosm. There is huge speculation on the market. And when the speculation, I hear negatives, I say, war, but war, but no. In Ipabibri, investors, you know, they try to withdraw mm -hmm. or sell home, you know, so, mm -hmm. so that they can even get cash for themselves. Mm -hmm. and the, in the course of struggling to get access to home, you know, they panic. This is why SSEA 
Enra na ye 98 and na 103. O kena unim ni ebeko. This has happened president under president Kufu Abreso May 2008. Na crude oil prices are due 147. June 2008 eko 179.9 cent mm. a barrel. It was the highest in 70 years. President Kufu Abreso. The highest crude oil prices in 70 years. Enna, a buy. Nature said, Jemmy, World War, Second World War time. Enna, a char, a char president, Kufu Abreso. A yukoso. So, I want you to know, Eban, who has seen it now, a follower. Obi said, a vice president can say, when your fundamentals are weak, Mm -hmm. Your exchange rate will expose, expose you. Yes, yes, it is true. Mm -hmm. But when the economic indicators globally trend in a negative, positive. Mm -hmm. positive. And the scenario ah, Vice President the Mayan on that year, me may call a Greek bank for a Kutunu Mudisri. And I make a Jose. In uh, an era where there's pandemic, everybody's buying it. Look, I did a number of $12 in 2019. Mm -hmm. They say $21. $12? Yes. Almost 100%. Yes. $21. Mm -hmm. That is not the rate at which price increases mm -hmm. ever in mm -hmm. America. But because we are not in normal times. I also admit, sir, Costco sells the cheapest uh, fuel. Okay. Sort yes. And to the beyond, and I'm saying, Omo prices really low compared to other stations. We be connect you, but this time, any part to me the Costco line, hmm. fuel over one hour. No, we never been toy. Yes. The question is why? Are we normal times? Minya, me go to a car and run kwana Omo de a yina ba se car na ba. Me ba November. So, mm -hmm. November, and I'm back. Yeah, a fine woman from a car number, but you can a fine number. You could do matching. Yeah, Nan your home said, Me, me, Koto car, watch your hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars with taxes and everything. Oh, we are also met here ten thousand. And so I come. Are they a me in a kite in a media reason be about first? Are you men in a coin? Why not? Station behind first, uh, Mercedes Benz, uh, yeah, and one card woman, no more coin. And there be army to free, uh, Route 22, mm -hmm. Ray Katina, mm -hmm. and to be called home one record. Okay, the number of Mercedes Benz are matto. In the Ocas or by the ten, I'm saying a mento on family check him. Then he went in, almost bought me deep pen or so, where he accustomed in the artist of five thousand to a five. Five no and count uh, make your taxes. Uh, no. In fact, they use a word for it. America, baby. Uh, mm. I swear to God, room 22. Toyota. There was not a single brand new Toyota. I didn't. Yeah, because home is cheap and the COVID is saying, mm -hmm. my brother, it is not there. Can you believe it? Say Toyota. America, Toyota. Wow. I will be at all. There was no brand new Toyota. Mo amu me from New Jersey. Mo pa mo ko Route 22. Ebe ni ho na kore say asuma make em boa. Every Toyota car you see there, eh, you used. Mm. You don't believe it? Say eh, a whole na me tall. Say me Tundra white. White, okay. Forty one thousand. Enne Tundra edi extra twenty six thousand miles. Nobody give me fifty four thousand dollars. Wow. Yes. Oh, fifty four thousand dollars. And then uh, Europe. Uko Hollanda. And the uh, announcement it shall say a liter. A liter of the petrol. Mm. A two point two. Yeah. Uh, Euros. Mm. What you say? In the E four point five. It means a gallon of uh, in Holland is nine euros. Mm? One gallon. Yes. 
But 2.2 is the letter. At 2.2 times 4.5. It's exactly 9 euros a gallon. Almost a man, people. Okay, I will see you for no and in some more. A war, the ABCB, I know your summer set the Beba Abbasomo. Mess also do a bench and a Beba comment session or over subscribe to one Ghana TV, na over like a videos. A seeker for gentleman capsules, a drubia, or a Bemana was shaming on your binum, yeah. Mess also be to America, no copebianum, because a boom, my papa, a do mass and maumu. Be a one room be the beer, a bonny summer, a full nanti, a tibomodi, na a copebinum. Sansona and TSC capsules, ye ma ye dear, or baby, I was soon so at once, or baby, a row. One who you saw at the end can't a bow a him feel ho, but more than a num and TSC capsules. The Bema yawning in out to a trabisius and him feel croje, say a brewer virgin. But more than the copebino, me patch or say a seeker for gentleman capsules, say ye and TSC capsules, or pebby or online at all. Ubenya bi wo amazon.co.uk amazon.co.uk bo modern ne kope bito me ba cho wo america wo canada wo europe na pese wo send sika e ba gana de wo hia ne se wo ba download tap tap send e wo phone ne so na wo download ya wo du ba bi a e promo code e abo one gana she ho tap tap send for se e busa promo code na abo one gana she ho na wo america wo canada wo man kasa e cho 10 dollars free sanso na wo europe 5 pounds and answer 5 euros e ye wo dia e de che wo mpe we e busu ana wo pe di tap tap send papa no no but modern na download dibi na e be boa wo me ba social media be bia instagram tiktok e dia me de wo ho ye ama popia mem ne daba me ti di ya nyam te chua e me bia am diska be fi europe akun me busu afo wo gana no me use tap tap send tap tap send no fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp. Tap, tap, send. In TN, also download the Tap Tap Send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Never see Kakamu Abusia for Ghana for Nenina. Tap, tap, send. Papa, no, no.